Hey guys, my name is Karin Chandran and I'm the CEO of Waterbud. Today we're here to showcase our solution, which will help you and the environment. And now our CTO, Brian, will walk you through our product. All right, so this is a demo of our product. Um, if you come over, I can show you the front face of our product, which is essentially just a faucet that turns on and off. You rotate the tap, you see water will flow through, and essentially this is our bottom reservoir. Um, and this is our water sensor. Now, if you follow me to the side, You'll actually see that um, our product actually has a drill pump and also our Raspberry Zero Pi, which essentially pipes all the data to our web application. And once the water flows into our lower reservoir, we have to activate our drill pump in order to pump all the water to the upper reservoir so that gravity will help push the water flow. And if you follow me over here, you will see our app. Hey everyone, this is Sid from Waterbud. And today I'm going to be showcasing our product, also denoted WaterBud. Let's get started by adding sensors. Here we're going to add a sensor in the garden and provide a friendly name of garden. In the background, you can see a matrix of sensors that correspond to pre-configured or newly added sensors. This matrix can be searched or filtered through. Now, once we've added a sensor, we'd be interested in seeing the live usage of that sensor, which would provide us with real-time consumption of water. Now, as you can see here, initially we have data points corresponding to zero milliliters of water, and eventually we reach a peak of approximately 125 milliliters. There's also an observable dip, which corresponds to the faucet being turned as well as water bottle and water dispenser bottles at the bottom of the page. These quantities are more relatable to the user and thus have been included in the application. Now after live usage, we'd be interested in seeing historical usage of all of our sensors over time. This historical usage page provides us with water consumption data for a given period of time with zoom functionality as observed. We can also switch between sensors and notice a change in the data as well as in the water bottle and water dispenser bottle quantities. Once we've observed daily usage, we may also be interested in observing hourly usage. So we switch to hourly usage and look at all of our sensors. as well as different sensors and their corresponding data and water bottle and water dispenser bottle data. Now after the historical usage, we navigate to the settings page where we can set a threshold for water consumption. After saving this threshold and after adding a new sensor, we navigate to the tips page within which we see tips corresponding to each of the sensors that we've configured. As you can see here, there's a matrix similar to that of the sensors page, which provides us with information on, of a sensor and tips corresponding to that sensor. So for the bathroom, we see that a tip states that a user should reduce the water consumed while shaving as well as look into implementing a low flow faucet. So now from the tips page, we navigate to the home page and we observe the notification icon in the header. Within, once we click on that icon, we see a modal which displays data related to cost savings as well as data related to sensors that we have implemented. That's it from my end in terms of showcasing the Waterbud product. I hope that this showcase was insightful, and I do hope that you move towards implementing this product within your own household, as it truly does help yourself and the environment. Thank you.